Hey there, Wendell. What's the golden rule? Less is more. Right. So how about Moroccan haze? Did the pigment come up? Not very well. What's that? yesterday, wanting to see our new range. I was able to show him the grand total of three colors. What are you doing down there? I've been experimenting. I'm trying to find a base that allows color to have highlights. Peter tells me you're working on more earth tones. We're not on Siam Sunset again, are we? What was Peter doing in my office? He's a Terps and Thinners man. He doesn't know anything about color. He's worried. We all are. This company needs you functional. I am functional. I was very fond of Marie. I understand things must be very difficult for you. Perry, I want you to take a holiday. Take as long as you like. Just come back when you're ready to be part of the team again. Right, okay. I'll certainly think about it. Do. Pick you up later, Dad. It's the biggest night of the year. You'll enjoy yourself. Two and eight. Then 
28 if you run away and leave me. Don't forget to close the gate. 28. Dad, I want to talk to you about something. Ladies and gentlemen, the first person to complete the card walks away with the big one. Ten glorious days roaming sunny Australia while your friends and family freeze. I down the game. Two at the back. 22. 22, you've got that one. I think there's something wrong with me. One and six. 16. 16? You've got that, huh? And ever since Marie died, it's been one thing after another. Accidents. Bizarre things. And look what happened to Adrian. Yes, it was unusual. Unusual? Shh! He fell into a piece of modern sculpture and got speared. It's no good dwelling on the negative. Ooh. It's very hard to ignore them. Everywhere I go, something happens. All the cities. 66. That's how I get me kids. 66. Oh my God, son, you're no, I haven't. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. Mark it and call out. No, I must miss another number. Anyone? Bingo! Bingo! You'd meet people. Lonely people like yourself. I don't want to meet lonely people. I don't like lonely people. Anyway, they need me at work. There's some strapping young lasses in Australia. I met one myself when I was in the service. I don't know how I feel about getting on the plane right now. It's just... forget about it. You're going to have to move on, son. I know how much you miss her, but she's gone. Do you think there's a single moment in my life when I don't realise that? that? I'll never see her again. Or hold her. That she's not in there now waiting for me. See ya. You should move out of that house. I don't know, you can stand living there. around the mountain. This is it. Number three. I'll get that for you. I don't want to see you carrying anything heavier than a hat and sunglasses for the next two weeks. I'll, uh, just... I'll sort all that in the coach. Just get on and relax. Great to have you aboard. Thank you.
filled with a meaning. We were counting to him this day. He even will stop in the middle of the night, pitch on his feet, hunt the bars, and be served champagne and a gourmet meal on pressed black linen. To the music of Vivaldi, watch the sunset, and then more stars than you're seeing in your life for when night's coming. Many of my passengers come back each year just for this evening alone. Day seven, a quiet one. You recognize your need for some Excuse me. alone to reflect. I think you're on the wrong bus. My fault. Should have checked your ticket before you got comfy. Yeah. You're with Whippets. Same destination, different company. Bit of a walk, my friend. Perry. Or would you prefer Perrins? I oh, know, no. Perry's fine. Stuart Quist. Singer songwriter. Hi. Stuart's my middle name. V's for Virgil. Thunderbirds ruined that for me. Party of eight or no party of eight. They're not here. Time waits for no man. Hello. 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 Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. I'm Bill Leach, your coach captain for the next 10 days, and I'd like to start our journey together by welcoming you all aboard. Uh, just one, please. You'll find a list of rules on the seat in front of you, and you should all have your meal vouchers by now. We're on our way in a moment, but in the meantime, I'd like to introduce you to a very lucky prize winner, someone who's travelled thousands of miles to be here. Barry Roberts of England, would you please make yourself known? Barry Roberts? I know you're here, Perry. I've seen your luggage. Welcome, Perry. How are you enjoying yourself so far? Oh, fine, thanks. Although, is there any chance that I can change seats? It's just that my, my air thing is broken. I know there appear to be some vacant seats, but if we all start moving around, we'll have chaos. That's the one rule I do have. Everybody, please retain your allotted seats. And the English, eh? Never happy. like this take, Bill? A hundred litres? hundred? That wouldn't get us from town to town. That'd be more like 200, wouldn't it, Bill? Well, I'll split the difference and you've got your figure. You're welcome to watch me filling up at Gordonsville if you like. You might find it interesting. Yes, thanks, Bill. I'd, I'd like that. Yeah, give us a yell. I'm 
Hey, they haven't had the schedule be grazing the axle. I need some help. The engine's blown. This is a private tour. I'll tell them in the next town. Hey! Where are you going? Darwin. I want to join the tour. It's not that easy, I'm afraid. There's a booking protocol. Anyway, we're full. All the way to Darwin. Six things have become available. I'll get my things. Where she was going. Excuse me, left. Passengers are not allowed to remain on the vehicle during scheduled stops. Sorry, but that's the one rule I have. Please don't speak to me again for the rest of the trip. Ham steak and pineapple, six ninety. Kangaroo steak, seven ninety. True fact. It's just as hard to make a ball bear in the size of a match as it is to make one the size of a melon. May I? Excuse me. All those people on the whippet tour. Each meal voucher entitles you to one main meal, tea or coffee. You have fifteen minutes. Please enjoy. Fisher, Jane, F I S H E R. Oh, excuse me, love. Excuse me, love. Have you got any complimentary matches? I collect them. You got our table over there. I'm sorry. I just saying you got our table over there. We normally go for the window table nearest the toilet. The young Ben. You stay there. Yes, well, better luck next time. A lot of you fellas out here now looking for a better life. Can't start blaming you. I mean, your country's finished, isn't it? They ain't gonna live in a dump like Britain when you got all of this. from the action over here, Perry. Closer to God than we are to the babes. Keep thinking about that curly-haired number. We're just playing cat and mouse at the present time. So you'll be all right with the other one, then? Uh, not really my type. Oh, OK, well, we'll swap, then. I don't mind. Women. If they're not on with your best friend, they run off with your younger brother.
And I was working with the tin. Now I'm two stripes in the army reserve. And put one of these little blights up in a ferret's feet. Did you forget your gym jams? I packed in a hurry. I'd like to dedicate this next one to a certain girl. In a certain tent. What do you think of him? He's a primate. Yeah, I like him too. He sounds like Elvis. In his last few hours. I don't think he'd find me attractive, though. I think you got a pulse. I've made mistakes in love. How about you? Are you lucky with men? Yeah, one successful relationship, my friend. Oh, no, can't be too Supposed to cry. Hey, Elvis. Why are you camped over there? That's my partner, Perry. He's a bit of a worrier. What's he got to worry about out here? Falling branches, being too close to the campfire, insects. He seems to worry a lot. Still, I'll look after him. Raindrops. So many raindrops. There must be raindrops. Are you all right? I'm a bit crook myself. I think those snakes are off. hear anything the ground something's happening to the ground there you go with the worrying again Something bad is happening. I don't know what, but whatever it is, it's followed me. Dad? Dad? I'm just saying, if any of your people are injured, I... We're very happy as we are, thank you very much. Thank you, Bill. See you down. Bye. 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 That one. That one got hurt. The cover spray. Camping has risks. Life does. Why don't you put your air, please? Move on. How's our prize winner this morning? Oh, fine, thanks. Yeah. You must have hit the roof when you won this thing. Yeah, it was great. Although I might have to cut it short. I got a phone call this morning. 
How'd you get a call out here? Oh, it was a business thing. So, uh... Yeah, but how did they know to call you out here? I left an itinerary at the office. I had a public phone box. Anyway, there's business that I have to get back to, reluctantly. So if you just drop me at the next big town, I can make my own way back from there. But you're getting it for nothing. Oh, tens of millions of people in your rotten country. My trouble is, I care too much. <sighs> Bit thoughtless, son. Here to anywhere, so uh, <clears throat> I'm getting off at Dargaville tomorrow. I'm gonna get some food that hasn't been pre digested. You wanna come? Well, I'm I've actually arranged to go to my tent tonight. I'll get dressed. Thanks. Thank you. So, what are you going back to in England? Our usual things. Work, family. Family? Does that include a wife? Yes. Kids? Not yet, no. Funny. You don't look married. What does married look like? Well kept. Content. In a grumpy kind of way. Are you a faithful husband? Or is this trip to get a bit on the side? Because if it is, I think you've picked the wrong bus. <laughs> What's up with test tubes? Oh, I'm an industrial chemist. I create colours. Hmm. What have you created lately? Not much, really. I've got a bit stuck on one particular colour. How come? Well, it's not like other colours. I mean, others, you just make them up or computer match, but this one, it's, um, locked in here. How are you when you found it? I'll just know. Colour is like music. It can change your mood. It absolutely affects the way we think and feel. Did you notice the blue panel on the way in here, the one by the door? You see, it was actually a very good colour. I mean, maybe a couple of points of magenta too much, but the heavy grey on the wall behind it just sucked the life out of it. If you just added a little of the yellow from that sugar bowl, the whole area would just begin to invite you in. So, what mood is the colour you're looking for? Peace. Watch. Almost. A couple of points light. If I'd had barbecue sauce, I could have done it. <laughs> Same again? Yeah, thanks.
She a good fuck? Excuse me? bumping into you. You're here for the Rose Festival too. Piss off, Martin. Or what? Call the police. I'd love to hear from them. What the fuck happened, Grace? I left. There's a protocol for terminating a relationship that went entirely unobserved. Couldn't, couldn't you have said something? Hmm? A little interpersonal communication? I can't talk to you. I've done three courses in constructive interaction. Of course, you can fucking talk to me! What we need to do hmm, is go through a process of mutual empowerment. Hmm? You hear my needs, and I hear yours, and then we celebrate each other's diversity. I don't want to celebrate your diversity. I don't want to go to court. I don't want to have to lie for you. I don't want anything to do with you anymore. You've lost it, Martin. This is classic projection. You know what your problem is, Grace? You're too afraid to love. No, that's the one reward I'll do. Uh, what? So do I do? But I just ran into the other bus driver. Porter? That's him. Yeah, yeah he said he was going to get an early star. Something about beating the wicked door to Paradise Kingdom? Don't worry about it. I mean, it wrapped up a little earlier than expected, but it's fine. You okay? Never better. I'm getting off at Dargaville, so, um... I'll see you. Ladies and gentlemen, breakfast is over. Would you please put your plates in the receptacle provided to the back of the bus? Thank you. How are you enjoying the trip so far? Yeah, me too. I think you'll find my sausage underneath you there. Anyway, 
just come from Liz's butter pot farm. He's hung himself. Oh, sorry, mate. We'll have to leave him swinging for a bit. There's another bus about an hour back. Tomato mine. Oh, I'm a bit nervous. His freak won't handle this weather. Well, he won't be getting through. We're about to close the road. Dargable's out because of the flood. We're going straight on. Next stop, Eric's Roadhouse. But I've got to get off at Dargaville, I told you. Well, go ahead. You bring your flippers? Well, what about another town? I mean, there must be somewhere that you can just drop me off. No, there isn't, mate. So just sit down. OK, folks. New passenger. Make him welcome. G'day, mums and dads. Martin's the name. I, uh, I won't shake. Yeah. Not a problem with the windstream. Nothing to worry about. Just plowed into a prime mover, that's all. Could have to anyone. Oh, here's a spare. You don't mind, do you, lovey? Cut your turn there with a mate. You all right? I'm fine. You can sit with me if you like. You heard her, she's fine. Now, why don't you get back to your seat before you get involved in an accident? It's a free world. If she wants to change seats, it's up to her. It's a free world. A free world? Who the fuck are you, Nelson Mandela? What the devil? Get that snake in the grass, get through. Right, help you roar! <laughs>
My bus this morning. You couldn't be in better hands. I still worked in a chemist shop for a year and a half. It's pretty crook. If you're going to watch me, I'm not doing it. Is there a phone here I could use? As long as I don't need to talk into it. Lines are down. How can you eat that? Oh, you've got no choice when you're large. Good night, everyone. Welcome to Eric's. I'm Eric. Now, unfortunately, we're renovating at the moment, so the rooms are out of commission. I hope you won't be too uncomfortable here on the floor. When can we get out? Well, you see, there's a bit of a problem. It never rains here. That's one of the main attractions of the place, but it's flooding north and south. So I doubt if we're going to see another living soul inside of a week. Shut up, my um, I'd like to point out that uh, although tonight's complimentary, tomorrow I'm going to have to start charging set rates, so that means uh, the standard will cost you uh, $225. <laughs> and the bridal suite's $296. 225 bucks? What sort of lunatic prices are they? What about the renovations? I'll be finishing those up later this evening. Is there anything to do around here? Well, I've got a couple of videos. And now uh, you're welcome to have a look at uh, Sam the Taipan. Bear in mind, he's the world's deadliest snake, so um, keep the kids away, but that's free. Apart from that, I'd like you to make the most of the facilities and uh, I hope you enjoy your stay. Thanks very much. Uh, can I have everyone's attention, please? A shush. Thank you. It's pretty clear we have found ourselves in a crisis situation. I believe it is time for a leader to step forward. A commander to ensure our 
safe passage. I nominate you, Arthur. Oh, I must not have the kids. I'd like to nominate Roy. Yeah, well, Jay, you'd be more. Oh, hold on. You are, mate. There's a bit more to it than just right now. Well, this is right now. This is really down. It's a very good thing. You know what? Started dealing through his clinic. How stupid he got involved. <sighs> One time sitting there watching the squish show, I was a little out of it. And there's this fat woman on the TV trying to guess the price of a pop up toaster. $49.95. I'm standing there screaming at the TV. $49.95. Next thing, door burst open. I was surrounded by cops. They wanted me to testify against him. There was no way he was going to let that happen. And if I didn't testify, I'd have been four years. So what did you do? Did the only honorable thing I could. Stole his money and bolted. Well, I wouldn't worry about Martin. He's hardly in a position to do anything. I never was. Number four, I think. Hey, 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 come on, let's get out of here. Where did you, I mean, how did you get that? Are you coming or not? The roads are closed. You worry about that when we get there. I guess we have to go back. I had a strange feeling when I saw that place that I wouldn't be leaving. You're okay? In a week you'll be on a plane. Back to your wife. My wife died 18 months ago. I knew you didn't look married. I'm not safe to be with. Things tend to happen around me. Yeah. Do you want to know how my wife died? A refrigerator fell out of a plane and landed on her. A fridge? It was a fridge freezer, actually. <laughs> she was so beautiful. People just laughed. I'll stop. Sorry.
I think they might finally be able to move those cans of beetroot. Eric says sorry about the car. She's made the room 190. How's your patient? No change. Excuse me. I uh, wanted to see about getting a room. I lost all my things in the accident, so uh, I can't pay you. Oh, that's pity. I'll have to camp with the others. Well, I was wondering if there was anything I could do to help around here. Odd jobs, help in the kitchen. You know anything about paint? No, you know, Brushes in that corner. So, uh, what colour do you want it? I want to sell the place, not to look at it. Black. Is it a lot? That's really steep. This is a dead snake, then. Hey, Perry. Hear the news? Lambs are Moses for lunch. I haven't seen any sheep around here. Yeah, doggy. Anyway, it's got to be better than beetroot for 15 bucks a can. Yeah. us to see the new year with them. What are your thoughts on Beatrice? I have none. You will in a day or two. I'll just keep an eye on this stuff, Grace. It's got a bit of kick in it. Some of it got a bit fermented. It's only a good thing about it. <laughs> yeah, go and Stuart, sing it. He's been working on this all afternoon. Mm, it's a bit rough, but... I have the storm. Eye of the storm, eye of the storm, eye of the storm. I found love in the eye of the storm. And then it just starts over again. Oh, that's lovely. Great. Yeah, what are you going to call it? I found love. It's exactly what happened to us. I mean, it's like, that's why it's so good. <laughs> and I thought I'd admit someone like Stu out here. <laughs> I'll make a toast. If you wouldn't mind raising your beetroot juices. To the love you find in hell. To the, to the love, love you find in hell.
so. You coming in? Oh, that's right. I forgot you're not safe to be with, right? The world's not one of your colors, Perry. You can't make it perfect. I'm stuck in the desert with no water. Living on beetroot. I've got no way of contacting the outside world. And a few rooms away, there's a man who would very much like to kill me. What further danger do you think you could possibly put me in? Vietnamese. I love you. I love you. Am. I need to go to the toilet. What is going? I don't have 20 cents. Do you think I'd be standing here if I had 20 cents, you ludicrous little man? Does anyone have a 20 cent coin? I do. You're going through to your housing thing, darling. Good morning. All the best for the coming year. How are you feeling? Very well. Particularly in the knowledge I'll be wearing this jacket for the rest of my life. We're doing a bit of a language laboratory. You're more than welcome to join us. I'm Arthur. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, what is ration? <clears throat> I appreciate you've been through an ordeal, but... Uh, I don't think you want to make trouble. <laughs> Hold it right there. <laughs> don't try me out again. Found it. Siam sunset. It's beautiful. It's the color of her hair. Well, the color I saw in it anyway. On a beach in Thailand once. I had this idea. If I couldn't have her back, I could at least feel her again. And do you? I heard there was a secret chord that David played. He's the law. You don't really care for music, do you? And it goes like this the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, and the major lift. 
the baffled king composing hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Strong, but you need to prove. I saw her bathing on the roof. Her beauty and the moonlight overcame. She tied you to the kitchen chair. She broke your throne and you she cut your hair. And from your lips, she drew. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> When you said I didn't listen, I'm not here now. It is over. It's just like only, only when we let go does life open up and give us what we want. Look, it's here. Do you want to die, Barry? Is that what you want? No. No, I don't. Oh, you should have fucked up to yourself. You didn't love me. You had a chance. one don't see how a man could sustain this level of injury by simply tripping on a carpet. I insist we call the police. Oh, I'll bet this is the police. How far away the police? <laughs> may, I, may I say something? We've all been through a lot together in the past few days. I'd like to suggest that we end this matter here. What do you mean? Dig a hole. Bury him. Let's just forget there ever was a Martin. Pick your own spot. No charge for that. Well, I don't say it like that. You don't just bury someone because they're dead. What else do you do with them? In the past week, I have been privy to what can only be described as a total moral collapse. Thus far, I have reserved my opinion. I know it. But I must now make a stand. I'll put a sock in the two pompous old fart. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Perhaps Arthur's right. I mean, we can't just do something because it's convenient. We'd have to go through the official channels. Thank you. The voice of reason. Uh, there'd have to be a full inquest, of course. Which could take weeks. Bugger that. No, Arthur's right. Everything must come out. Like the way Arthur beat Martin up. <laughs> I gave him a little shove. Didn't look too little to me. Yeah. Looked like a real thump from where I was standing. <laughs> that was ages ago. Sometimes with head injuries, there's a delayed reaction. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we don't need to go into this now. It can all be cleared up when we come back here for the full inquest. 
if we're all agreed. Get on board, everyone. Make yourselves comfortable. It's a lot, mate. Great to have you aboard. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank Mind you, Steph. Such a gentleman. Bill. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Where are the other two? Join me up here, Bill. Thank you. 